and you run into all the time. God bless America. Once again, respectfully, I say to myself, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> God bless America? Is that a request? Is that a demand? Is that a suggestion? Politicians say it at the end of every speech, as if it were some sort of verbal tick that they can't get rid of. God bless you and God bless America. God bless you and God bless America. I guess they figure if they leave it out, someone's going to think they're bad Americans. Let me tell you a little secret about God, folks. God does not give a flying fuck about America, okay? He doesn't care. He never cared about this country. He never has, he never will. He doesn't care about this country any more than he cares about Mongolia, Transylvania, Pittsburgh, the Suez Canal, or the North Pole. He simply doesn't care, okay? He doesn't care. Listen, hey, there are 200 countries in the world now. Do these people honestly think that God is sitting around picking out his favorites? Why would he do that? Why would God have a favorite country? And why would it be America out of all the countries? Because we have the most money? Because he likes our national anthem? Maybe it's because he heard we have 18 delicious flavors of classic rice a -roni. It's delusional thinking. It's delusional thinking. And Americans are not alone with these sort of delusions. Military cemeteries around the world are packed with brainwashed, dead soldiers who were convinced God was on their side. America prays for God to destroy our enemies. Our enemies pray for God to destroy us. Somebody's going to be disappointed. <laughs> Somebody's wasting their fucking time. Could it be everyone? <laughs>